All right, what's up guys? We're having a, watching today an interesting video by one of my favorite YouTubers, of course, Attack on Axe. He has a cool little video why he dumped all his Ron. As you know, Ron is just coming out and I wanna see if I should do the same. So let's check out the video. <laughs> by the way, you should never just make decisions based on videos, of course. And of course, this video is not to finish video. in place. This is gonna be a very quick update because I wanna talk about Ron since it's such a significant release for the Axie Infinity ecosystem. For those of you who don't know, the Ron token was released last night. We got the white paper. We can finally see how it is distributed. And as you can tell from the title of this video, I decided to sell most of the Ron I had been farming. Why did I do this? Mostly, I read through the white paper, I looked at the utility of Ron, and I just didn't like it, right? Some some of you might agree with me, some of you might disagree with me, and that's fine. I'm not trying to flood Axe Infinity or Sky Mavis or anything like that. It's just what helps me sleep better at night, and it's what I chose to do, so I want to tell you guys why. Now, this isn't a technical analysis. I'm not saying Ron price is going to go up or down. It could go to the moon. Who knows? I just didn't like the tokenomics, so I decided to sell a lot of what I was holding. I'm not going to draw any lines on charts for you guys, because that's not what I do. And as I've mentioned, I'm still farming Ron, and I did hold a little bit, so maybe I will even buy more Ron back in the future once its utility changes or it becomes more decentralized, etc. I will play this by ear and determine that as we go along. Keep in mind that many people are still farming and earning Ron, and so if they are deciding to sell it like me, there will be a lot of selling pressure on Ron as people continue to get it for free and they may just decide to dump it. True. So Ron just came out. Big, obviously, update. By the way, big shouts to Trisha in the building. How is it going? First of all, what is the point of Ron? Well, basically three things. It's supposed to secure and decentralize the network, and it's also going to function as the gas or the transaction fee for working in the Ronin network and the Ronin ecosystem. Now, as it stands, because we're getting so many free transactions for Ronin, you're going to be getting 20 free transactions one time only. If you use all 20 of these free transactions, you are going to have no more free transactions and you're going to need Ron. But if you are a manager, a scholar, and you own any assets, then you're going to get additional free transactions every day. So with normal axes alone, you get three transactions per day. So you get a lot of transactions for free, which is why right now I don't think Ron has a lot of utility. The only real use for Ron Disney is to earn more guy. Ron, which makes me think I that think people are going to have a lot of selling Disney pressure at first. I'm I think sure the Ronin ecosystem think is still very young. Version. They have a lot of amazing things on the top. You know when you have like two videos playing at once for whatever season, reason? So guys right now we're rocking on, on Twitch. We got <laughs> timeline and as this continues Ron will be used as gas fees for other applications and other games in the Ronin ecosystem besides just Axe <coughs> Infinity and it will add a lot more utility to Ron which will add more demand for it rather than just the selling pressure that I see it have at the moment. So that is the first reason why I'm not super bullish on Ron right now and the other reason I decided to sell most of my Ron was because I don't like how it's distributed at the moment and let's dive into this a little bit more because the key for this is that Ron is supposed to be decentralized right? And if we go ahead and we look at the issuance, first of all, Sky Mavis gave themselves 30% of the Ron token, right? And why did they do this? Well, they did it to pay themselves. It's a paycheck. And that's okay. They've worked hard. They've built up this Axie Infinity ecosystem for the ground, and they deserve some compensation for this. I just felt that 30% was a bit high when they're trying to focus on decentralization, right? Don't forget they also had 20% of the AXS token when that was released as well, and they got percentage of the airdrop that was released a little while back, even though that's a small chunk. They got more of that as a bonus, and they've been earning salaries. There's other ways Sky Mavis has been paid, right? So to me, 30% of Ron just felt a bit high when the goal is decentralization. Now, with that in mind, if we continue to look at the allocations, you can see that their 30% is equal to the community's 30%. This 30% community is not very clear what that's for, but if you take a look at the schedule here, you can determine that that is actually the Ron farming rewards, right? These are the LP rewards. And the reason I think that is on day zero, 10% of the total supply um, comes from this community, right? And then it drops down. So basically this community fund is the farming rewards we've been earning so far. And 10% was rewarded on day one, right? In comparison to what Sky Mavis starts out with unlocked, in some way, this is fairly decentralized in the fact that it is being held by users in the Axie Infinity ecosystem. Now, personally, I would have liked them to do a public sale and have Ron be owned by some people outside the core Axie Infinity ecosystem, just because I think that aligns with decentralization better, but they decided not to do that. They decided to reward the tokens however they see fit. And another key thing to keep in mind is this is a light paper and all of this is subject to change. As they've said here, all of this is subject to change, right? So this could be good or it could be bad. They could make this worse or they could make it better, right? And we'll have to wait and see what happens. But when it comes to the allocations, over Overall, the team has 30%, the community has 30% from farming, and then we have the staking award and the ecosystem fund. Now, both the community and Sky Mavis can participate in the staking. So I would actually say that this staking reward is going both to the team and both the community, and the team has a lot of control over a lot of the Ron token. And to me, that just doesn't speak to decentralization. And now also keep in mind that some of the validators, when you get Ron tokens, you can stake them and you can earn staking reward. A portion of these rewards is going to go to the validator you're staking with. And as it stands, Sky Mavis has half of the validators, right? 50% of the validators are in Sky Mavis's hands. Right now, once again, I don't see that as very decentralized. And it also gives them more ways to earn 
It also gives them more way to earn some of the staking rewards as they see fit, right? So once again, it's giving a bit of an edge to Sky Mavis having a majority control over their own token, right? Even though at the, like I mentioned, at the unlocked portion, the community has more than Sky Mavis, but keep in mind, they have the ability to keep taking more control back. Now, they also have the ecosystem fund here, which from my understanding is going to be going to grants, investments, hackathons, content creation, applications, stuff like that, right? But essentially the Sky Mavis team can choose to reward this 15% wherever they want. And a big chunk of this 15% is available right away, right? So essentially they're going to give this to anyone who is supporting them. And that is once again, quite centralized because they can choose to do what they want with this 15% ecosystem fund because we don't yet have the voting system up. This is going to be used for voting and governance in the future, but that functionality is not here yet. And so far as this reads, as you read this white paper, Sky Mavis can do whatever they want with this ecosystem fund, right? To be fair, they do have goals to be more decentralized in the future, right? They're going to get validators outside of Sky Mavis, and they're going to update Ronin to delegate proof of stake, and they're going to allow you to deploy contract proposals on Ronin, right? So this is where we will have the community having more say in what's done with the Ronin ecosystem rather than Sky Mavis, but this isn't coming till phase two, and we also don't have a date for phase two. So as it stands to me, this all looks very centralized for a token that is focused on being decentralized, and it just didn't sit well with me, right? And like I said, my goal isn't for Ronin to moon and to make as much money as possible. My goal is to sleep at night feeling good about my investment and I just didn't feel good holding all my RON when currently I can go ahead and sell it for $3.50, right? And talking about the price of RON, looking at this, perpetual futures on FTX were our first price discovery of RON, right? And we were looking at RON being around $4. I'm not gonna go into perpetual futures here because that's a complicated topic, but essentially this was the price of RON before it was released. And now that it's released, the RON token had a bit of a spike and then it dropped right back down. And we're sitting, we've been sitting comfortably around the 350 level since it was released, right? And I do just see lots of selling pressure on RON. I don't see personally a bunch of demand for this token. Now I could be totally wrong, like I said, I'm not trying to do a price prediction. I just didn't like the utility or the centralization of the token. So I decided to sell it. I'm still farming Ron. So I'm still going to be earning more of this community fund here. And the Ron that I have, when I'm not using it, I will. So by the way, we got Jesscord in the building. Uh, yeah, so Ron just released big, big announcement. They've been planning for this for ages. And of course, it's one of those tokens that I've been talking up like it's going to be the greatest thing. Um, and it was cool, you know, in my back office, actually. And maybe I'll pull that up for you guys. Um, yeah, I can see Ron there, which is absolutely incredible. Um, oh yeah, I have to actually connect my wallet. Maybe I'll do that um, off over here. But um, in general, I think Ron as a token, you know, it's the, the token that's gonna help you pay gas fees. And of course, when other games are, it's gonna help you pay gas fees. Um, I think what he's saying is definitely a bit correct. Like the, there's not that much of a real utility element that I'm seeing that makes it so incredible. But hey, it is the, the main token for the, you know the Rona network so maybe there's a bit more utility there than we know but let's keep watching the video we'll be staking it as well and i will be getting some of these staking rewards here so much like myself many of you out there who are holding ron are going to keep getting it for free and anyone who's not seeing the utility of ron is going to keep dumping it on the market as well and you can expect the sky mavis team to be selling it to the market as well as more and more of it is unlocked and keep in mind these dates are important right because if you're going to hold on to ron for the near future you need to know that after the 12 month mark is when the distribution is going to increase much more more sharply, right? So for the first 12 months, it is unlocking very slowly, but after that, it will unlock quite quickly in the 12 to 42 month range, right? The 12. Mm. I feel like that's something I should uh, print screen here. Up the 66 months range. This. Let's let's make that HD. Look at this. Boom. Super HD. Let's make it even more HD. Now nah, that's that's good enough HD. I don't I don't need to blind myself with HDness. But no, unlocking dates are very important. So AXS, when um, you know they turned down their staking rewards, um, it was, basically had an immediate sell pressure to the coin. And what's interesting about the crypto market is like it's very, it's very how you say um, not. Um, I can't even think of the word. It's not optimized, right? There's a lot of inefficiencies, which means there's a lot of money making opportunities to be made based on that. By the way, we have a new follower, guys. Big, big, big shout outs goes to Ray. Thank you so much for the follow. Of course, if it's your first time watching, make sure you hit that follow button, guys. Uh, we do this at least once a week, normally twice a week, but you know, I've been the laziest content cr creator of all time. Um, <laughs> definitely recently. Um, but now let's keep going. 
rate of unlocking tokens is going to increase. And so we are going to see a lot more selling pressure hit the market at about the 12 month mark. That's a long way away. But if you're going to hold on for the long term, definitely keep that date in mind as well. These dates were and are key factors for AXS as well when more of the token is unlocked, right? And this chart is more linear, but they still have these steps where if you go back and you look at the price of AXS, you can see that there was more selling pressure on dates when AXS was unlocked. And as I mentioned, there are lots of cool applications coming for Ronin. There's more utility and more use for Ronin and the Ron system coming in the future, right? So I'm not dumping all my Ron. I'm not actually, I'm not exiting Axie Infinity. I'm not trying to fund. I still have my scholarships. I'm still playing Axie Infinity. I just don't see the point of holding a bunch of Ron right now when I can be doing other things with those funds. Now, just to round this out, like I mentioned, I am still farming Ron. I've left my liquidity in here because I'm still farming a bit of Ron. I still want to be getting a little bit of Ron for free in case I see it having more utility in the future and I want to save it up. So I have the ability to save up more Ron or to buy more Ron and I'm still farming it. Now, I also want to mention something that I just think is funny is if I sell now, when I used to have $1,500 in here and now I have $500, yes, that's not a lot. It's just a little bit. So obviously I didn't have a ton of run to sell. If I sold now, I would be receiving a big loss. My funds went down from $1,500 to $500. But I just want to point this out there because it makes me laugh all the time. That is not in permanent loss, right? People say they don't want to sell because they don't want in permanent loss. That is different. This is unrealized loss. If I sell this here from 1,500 and I'll only be getting $500, that is a realized loss, right? Part of that is in permanent loss. The part of that that comes from in permanent loss, and I've explained in permanent loss before on one of my original videos when the Ronin, Ronin Dex came out, is it comes from the difference of the price movements of the two tokens. If one drops more than the other, which is what happened here, or if one raises more than the other, which could happen, then you experience in permanent loss. In permanent loss is the difference between the price drops of holding these two tokens outside of a pool and holding them in a pool where in this case, if I withdraw my SLP and my wrapped Ethereum, I will get a lot more SLP than I will get wrapped Ethereum that I put into it. So if I had just held SLP and just held wrapped Ethereum, I would have more than $119. That difference is in permanent loss. And now I'm not gonna do this calculation for this because I've done it in the past, but the question is always, will Ron make up the difference for that in permanent loss? And I think it will. I think the Ron actually covered the in permanent loss. It did not cover the overall loss because these tokens went down in price. Everyone who has been farming has just lost money, right? I but think that's a big, big, um, a big, big point there. So essentially a lot of people were like, oh, you know, I got this in permanent loss because my value of my liquidity went down from 2000 to 1000. Not gonna name the name of the creator. But I think he hits on the point that that's just unrealized loss. It's just loss from actual investing in crypto. If you're, you know, investing in Ethereum, and I can pull up the chart right here for you, you are going to lose a lot of money. <laughs> like you've lost a lot of money over the past couple of days. And that's obviously because look at this market right here, November, we were at like all time highs and then 2022 has not been kind to not only the crypto market, but the stock market. So again, your loss in, you know, investing in these liquidity pools is more from investing in crypto. Um, it's not about just impermanent loss. By the way, we got Ray in the building. Yes, sir. I always watch the stream. That is what's up. That is what's up. But the additional money you've lost because you've got more SLP than wrapped Ethereum now, or you've got more AXS than wrapped Ethereum now, that additional loss is in permanent loss and not the whole thing. The whole thing isn't in permanent loss. Maybe none of you care, but it's just it's just an important difference I want to point out because I keep seeing people on Twitter saying that they don't want to have in permanent loss. And this is not in permanent loss. This is, if I pull this out, just realizing my loss. Anyways, that's a bit of a rant. I'm also just making point of I am still farming a little bit because I want to keep earning a little bit of run for free in case I decide to change my mind and save some. So of interestingly enough, for a content creator of his size, I don't think $500 is a big investment for him. So he's pretty withdrawn from these liquidity pools, if that is his position. Um, I don't know if that's his position. So very interesting. Um, again, a lot of the community very pessimistic on Axie Infinity. By the way, we got Liberty in the building. What is going on, Liberty? Nice to see you. Jess Corp with the fly wings. Gotta love it and stake some of it, etc. And also just because these APRs are pretty nice, right? And I think that SLP will keep going down until they make a change. But now that we're close to this one cent line, I think it will go down a little bit slower and there's a lot more resistance to the price falling of SLP. But once again, it will continue to fall as long as more is being minted than burned. That is just the supply of SLP increasing and increasing while the demand decreases as more people are less enthusiastic about Axie Infinity, right? 555% might seem like a very high number, especially because it is APR and not APY. But when it comes to the world of DeFi, this is not a very high number. And it really depends on, are you bullish on these tokens here? Because as you've seen, even though this 
this has been 400, 500% APR this whole time, anyone who's been in this pool has lost a lot of money because the price of SLP and Wrapped Ethereum has gone down. And because the price of SLP has gone down so much, you also have way more SLP than you do Wrapped Ethereum right now if you've been in this pool this whole time. So these numbers can be misleading. Now that we're at the bottom, I do want a little bit of exposure to this. So like I said, I've left some money in here, but I'm in other, I'm in many other DeFi farms with more money because I think those are better tokens that I believe in more than I believe in SLP at the moment. All of this is- Don't be shy. Share those DeFi farms. Don't be shy at all. Addicted to change. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for now. I want Anyways, that was the video. Um, again, Ron just came out. So instead of, you know, going through the white paper, let's go through one of the most, you know, pro Axie infinity content creators out there that gives a really, you know, I think a very unbiased view of what's going on. And I think Ron's a very interesting launch, you know, they definitely hyped it up more as like, it's going to be his groundbreaking thing. But for me, as someone in the Axie Infinity community, it doesn't change uh, my perspective or my investment on Axie Infinity at all. It's just a nothing that's something that's nice that, hey, here's something on their white paper that say they're going to hit. But let me know what you think. Is Ron going to be the game changer? Is it going to moon SOP? Or do you think it's just another update? And are you very bearish on Axie Infinity. Let me know. It's your boy Fly Stewie. We're going to keep on with the stream, but we'll catch you next time. Peace.